Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The big day is almost here. Team of the Year is tomorrow and it is leaked. We know who is going to be in this year's Team of the Year. I want to take a look at those leaks and how they are already impacting the market along with a huge flashback SBC that we think might be coming this weekend in Team of the Year as well. And of course, there's still a lot of content that's going on right now. Yesterday, we had the Petter Check, Icon SBC, and EA dropped the 83 times 3 midfielder packs. Now, will we see more packs like this today, or is it going to be a quiet Thursday on the game as well? I want to talk about that. And of course, since yesterday was not a quiet day of content, a lot of stuff People are going out and doing SBCs, the 83 times threes, the 83 times tens. Fodder is going up and the rest of the market is still crashing, but I think we might be getting very close to the buy time or the buy zone for a lot of these out of pack special cards that so many people want to get for their teams at a cheaper price with the team of the year market crash really in full swing. So I want to take a look at that. And of course, today there's a big SBC that might be dropping. Player of the Month, League One. Will it be Mbappe? We're going to talk through that. We have no leaks right now, but still talk about how that could move the market today even further. So if you're excited, the day before Team of the Year, Team of the Year Eve, if you will, drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe. If you are new, let's talk about these leaks and let's talk about Team of the Year. First of all, this is a tweet from last year from EA and there will be a tweet just like this today on the 19th of January, the day before Team of the Year. EA will tweet the full Team of the Year 11 probably in a video just like this. They've done this now the past couple of years and it will basically confirm most likely the leaks that we have seen. Now last year and even two years ago in FIFA 21, they just showed the players. They didn't show the stats. So we will probably still be without stats today unless there are additional leaks from guys like Foot Sheriff showing the stats of the players in Team of the Year. But EA will be posting today, so watch out for that. But it's probably going to be information that we already know because we have the full Team of the Year leaked 11. And man, there are a couple surprises in here, but I felt like it went according to kind of how we thought it was going to go, according to plan. The first surprise was the first leak that we had. Jude Bellingham. I feel like a lot of people thought the midfield was going to be Con or sorry, not Conte, uh, Modric, Conte and old FIFAs, right? Uh, Modric, Kevin De Bruyne, and then either Casemiro, Jude Bellingham, or Fede Valverde. Those were like the top three names to get that last third and final midfield spot. And Jude Bellingham is going to be the one getting the card. Hopefully his card looks somewhat like this or is all 90 stats. I think, I mean, you know, he had that team of the season card last year that was insane, insane, insane. Hopefully he gets a really big boost. Some people say this one's undeserved. But again, I just have to remind you guys, it's fan voted, right? Fan voting means probably a lot of these or some of these may not be the most deserved in terms of how they actually performed. But if people want to see him in FIFA, they vote for him and boom, they'll get a card, right? Now, of course, this one's definitely deserved. Kevin De Bruyne, probably going to be one of the higher rated team of the years uh, and most likely the highest rated midfielder. Might be tough um, with Modric being in there as well. But KDB is in team of the year, of course. I don't think there's anybody with questions about that. And then in the defense, it gets pretty interesting. Teo Hernandez is our left back in the team of the year 11. Really insane card. Guys, we're going to have a price predictions video going up later today talking about how much I think these team of the year cards will cost as they are dropped into the game. So watch out for that as well. We've got Messi right in the attack. Guys, I really, really hope that EA go back to the old ways of making team of the year cards 99 rated. I don't believe they're going to do it, but I have a little bit of hope because those were the days when team of the years were actually elite. But hopefully Messi at least gets a 98 with some really big stat boost. And hopefully they give him the high-low work rates that they did on his World Cup card. He's in the team, obviously. Virgil van Dijk, our first of two center backs, a part of the defense as well. This is going to be one of the most insane center backs inside of the game. He's going to be very expensive. Again, people will argue, is this deserved or not? Fan vote kicks into play. Um, but that's a really nice card. Probably going to be pretty high rated as well. All the, By the way, all of these are stats predicted. These are not final stats. These are just predicted stats for all of these cards. Here's our other center back, and I knew, I, I would say that I knew, I really thought this guy was going to get in. Eder Militao gets in. There was no Rudiger in the voting. There was no Alaba in the voting. I saw this man in so many votes. I feel like the only other option outside of this was maybe to add another fullback in and have Joao Cancelo in this team of the year team. Obviously, Joao Cancelo, as we will see, did not get in, but I think this card is going to be insane. I think it's even better than a Marquinhos team of the year. I'm super excited for Militao. He's going to be so 
overpowered in this game, going to be really expensive as well. And then our final defender, Hakimi at right back, just like last year, probably going to be one of the mid to cheaper team of the years, but very, very good for links. And obviously one of the best right backs in the game, probably catapulting him maybe to number one, depending on the stats that EA give that card. Obviously there's our other midfielder in Luka Modric, going to be an insane card too. Obviously everybody remembers his 99 rated card from a couple years ago. Probably won't be that good, but should be absolutely insane. One small note I'd like to add here is I hope EA also adds some more skill mover weak foot boost. Last year, we had the Lewandowski with the five-star weak foot, and that added a lot of hype. Just imagine like this Modric with five-star skills, or maybe, I mean, it'd be a shot, like a long shot, but Messi with five-star skills or something like that, right? That'd be really, really hype. Let's talk more about the last two leaks. Kylian Mbappe, no surprise here. Probably going to be the highest rated alongside of Messi in team of the year. Going to be seven, eight million coins, 99 pace, 98 dribble. Probably going to be pretty accurate to what his card is. No surprise there. And Courtois in net is our goalkeeper. So I think that was expected as well. Pretty Madrid heavy, right? Again, if you take a look at this team of the year team, uh, the only one that there was not a picture posted for was Benzema. Benzema is the other attacker. So Benz, Mbappe, Messi up front, KDB, Modric, Jude, Militao, Van Dyke, Teo, Hakimi, and Courtois. A solid team of the year. Some different names in here, right? First team of the year for Jude, for sure. Uh, might be. I think it's the first team of the year for Teo as well. So that's hype. Benzema getting into team of the year is super duper hype. I mean, there's four league or four La Liga players in this team. There are two Premier League. There are was it three? from um, PSG and three from League One and then one Bundesliga and one from Serie A. So every single of the top five leagues is represented in this team of the year, which is interesting. That's not always the case. Last year was like all Prem and all League One. This year, there's a lot of La Liga in there, which is cool. Uh, Real Madrid, of course, getting the deserved uh, players in team of the year for their performances last year in the calendar year of 2022. So well, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this team. I think it's hype. I mean, I'm excited to chase these guys in packs and to see the stats specifically. I'm very, very excited to see these cards. Now, of course, with these guys being put out, some of the other special cards like Militao probably being one of the lesser expected cards to get into team of the year. As the market was dropping a lot yesterday, some of these cards dropped a little bit extra. Militao dropped a 100,000 coin amount from 600k all the way down to 500,000 coins. He has bounced back a little bit because he's a rare card, of course, out of packs. And there was a lot of that, like Jude Bellingham dropped off a lot. Van Dyke special cards dropped even more as people, are, of course, know that they are getting into team of the year. That could continue into today a little bit when EA go and post uh, most likely a video like this confirming our team of the year as well in the game. So the one thing I want to talk about though is moving on from the team that has been leaked, we have to look at the SBC that was leaked. This caused probably more waves to the market than the actual team of the year did. And it is Sergio Ramos is getting a flashback team of the year SBC. I mean, we're just looking at leaks for the beginning part of this video. Sorry for a lot of leaks and stuff in here, but like, this is crazy, right? This probably will rival the flashback Varane that we had last year in FIFA 22. This is nuts. GGCEA, I mean, Ramos was a fixture in team of the year for so many years. It is awesome that he's getting a flashback card. I just hope the stats are a little bit better than that because honestly, if you take a look at some of the other center backs that we have on this game at this stage, I mean, a lot of people are really hyped about this brand new Kempembe card, right? And Kempembe's Centurion's card was one that dropped off in price almost immediately after this Ramos leak was posted. You can see now he's 430,000 coins, 440K. He was almost 500,000 coins. And then this Ramos was posted. I really hope that Ramos has a little bit more pace and a little bit more physical than that card that is leaked. And honestly, I would rather have a better card and make it be more expensive because if you guys remember last year, the Rafael Varan SBC that we had, the flashback, was kind of expensive, but we were all doing so many special packs and so many upgrade packs during that time and getting fodder that it was, you know, very craftable and kind of easy to do. And that was a flashback SBC that was literally in so many people's teams throughout like the whole rest of the year in FIFA until team of the season when other great, incredible, statistically um, juiced center back cards were put onto this game. That flashback Varane was like a mainstay in people's team. So I really hope that Ramos is like juiced and I would rather have a Ramos SBC that's like five to 700K with a cracked card than have a card that is just average that it'd be a cheap SBC. That's personally how I would like to have it. But I think that SBC is gonna be dropping on Friday. Some of your P 
PSG links, since there's some cards in Team of the Year, of course, and that's just a very popular way for people to link teams on the market, as always. Watch out for some of these, maybe Verratti, um, even the, not the Team of the Year version of Hakimi, but the um, Foot Phenoms version. Of course, keep a close eye on these cards, because there could be a lot of demand for PSG links if that Ramos is very, very well priced. And again, I do believe this SBC will be dropping on Friday with the content drop. Last year, we got uh, flashback Harry Kane on the content drop, so I'd be surprised if it was another order or another way. It just makes sense to start team of the year with a bang with a big SBC like this. So those are all of our big leaks for like what could be coming on Friday. Now, of course, there are only three cards on the loading screen, and that to me means that EA is telling us we are going to have the front three, the attackers in packs tomorrow on Friday. That's usually how it is. Unless we get more information, we'll probably get a loading screen update today. That's what I would expect to see. So we'll look out for that loading screen update today on Thursday. Now, a couple more things, and this is pretty hype. We have some official team of the year icons. We just don't know when they're going to be dropped. Are they going to be dropped starting tomorrow? Are they going to be like next week? Is it going to be completely random? How many will they do? We don't no, we have a lot of questions about these team of the year icons, but we have two. And the first one, actually both of these, are absolute bangers. Ronaldinho is getting a boosted card. For those of you that wonder, should this be better than his prime card? I think the answer is yes, because primes have been out in the game for a while now. And if they don't go above the rating of the prime or above statistically on the prime, I think people would be a bit disappointed. So I do think that Ronaldinho will be higher rated and have uh, better stats and, of course, a dynamic image on his card than his prime card. And then Hullet as well. Wow, this could be one of the best Hullet cards we'd ever seen in FIFA, especially if they would give him some pace, right? We love the 90 pace. Last year and a couple years ago, Hullet's moments card has not had 90 pace. And since they're not doing moments icons this year, this is really, really hype. I just hope we get a lot more. I mean, like in the World Cup icons, we had a solid set, two different, three different teams, actually, of a lot of different icons that were getting boosted versions. I hope that they put a lot of boosted versions of these World Cup icons uh, in during team of the year so the only thing i have to say about that is whenever those icons drop it actually means a lot for when we open packs because those cards should be packable like promo cards and have pack odds like we saw with the world cup icon so hopefully we get more information from ea sports on that but guys there's just so much hype to look forward to with cards that are being released and i know that some of you guys might be like man nate these are super duper expensive i'm just here to buy cards for my team in the low point. And well, welcome to the low point. The market is being panic sold like crazy. Of course, as we talked about and we saw yesterday, we kind of expected this, right? And uh, it was a good day to trade yesterday if you found the right cards at the right time. But overall, a lot of the market is just dropping as player prices are going down as people are getting ready for team of the year. We looked at that Ed Air Militao graph and we could take a look at so many graphs right now on this game of prices that just went down yesterday. Some cards have actually gone back up a little bit, but take a look at Tamori, 175k. He started the day yesterday up at 200. And I mean, that's not even that big of a drop from 200 to 175. I mean, yeah, it is a big drop, but some of the other drops on the market yesterday were way bigger than that. Vinny Jr.'s 1.1 mil right now. That is very low. Um, I'm trying to find a couple cards that have gone down a ton. Cancelo is down a lot. Aloe Weyron was down a lot yesterday. I mean, almost everywhere you look on this market, card prices are just dropping because everybody is panicking for team of the year. Uh, you, you see this, right? 280 on Cordoba down to 240 where he is now. Some cards were down 20 to 25%. That was kind of like the max drop off in just yesterday's prices. Rafael Leal, 800K. He started the day yesterday in the high 800s. He was all the way down at like 785. So the thing I will say about the market right now is a lot of your out-of-pack specials that are the most meta cards that a lot of people maybe want to buy for their teams during this team of the year time period, whether it's a Centurions card, uh, maybe it's like Ben Yedder, maybe it's this Kempembe, maybe it's Trent Alexander-Arnold, maybe it's a, a Winter Wild Cards item. Any of these cards that maybe you have your eyes on to buy as we are in the team of the year market crash, keep a close eye on the card that you are really wanting to buy because I think we are in the low point between now, between yesterday and basically Friday at content. I think there could be a little bit of more panic selling around Friday at content, but I think right now, guys, we are in the low point of the pre team of the year market crash. Now, there's obviously no telling how the market's going to be completely affected after the team of the year promo drops, but we do know that a lot of times 
a good amount of the market does rebound back. And let's be honest, right? Team of the year cards are super expensive and not everybody can afford them or can go out to try to open enough packs to try to pack them, right? And or to try to buy them off of the market. And a lot of people just use this as an opportunity to get players for their team and to maybe open a few packs and hope to get lucky, right? 341 for Akimi. That's pretty cheap. That's very tempting to me, actually, uh, because the the links to the PSG um, Ramos SBC that might be released soon. So I'm kind of watching this card for sure, but also there might be more panic with him getting leaked today in the official EA post. That's besides the point. Sidetracked. But um, a lot of cards, again, like we said, that are just really low right now, if you are watching a card and it's down like 20% plus from the last week when the market started to fall even, like this Genduzi card. Genduzi last year, his Winter Wild cards, was an item that absolutely exploded post-team of the year. Uh, it was on its way up anyway, but Genduzi was at 140,000 coins. He still is, like 140, 150K. If there's any additional panic on a card like this today or tomorrow on Friday, I just feel like it's probably a decent time to get those into your squad if you really just want to buy those for your team and maybe even for some investments. I think there'll be opportunities to buy these cards and to um, you know sell them on maybe next week or maybe even later this weekend for a short-term flip. I think there'll be plenty of opportunities to do that here in the next couple of days. Um, and just with the way the market's probably going to react, again, we think that people are going to open a lot of packs this weekend. Even though there's only three team of the year cards in packs, I do expect to see a nice little bit of a market bounce. Wow, Vinny, Vinny Jr. for 1.1 mil. That's pretty low too, man. You know, like that's that's tempting me at this moment. I'm almost wanting to buy that as, that card as well. A lot of temptation to buy cards because card prices seem very, very low. But also at the same time, I'm not expecting the market to fly back every single which way uh, tomorrow or even even today, right? Only some parts of the market, the most meta, the most popular will bounce back right away. Some prices may take time to rise, but I really do feel like for some meta cards in this game and a lot of cards that you guys maybe want to buy for your team, a lot of cards are really low and it's a good time between today and tomorrow. There could be some more panic tomorrow, right? We have the hero pack or the hero player pick that's going to be refreshed. We have the 83 times 10 that's going to be refreshed again today, two more times technically. And there's a lot of SBC demand and people are draining their coins out of their clubs trying to get this stuff done and trying to get SBCs done. So just watch the market, but I feel like we are in a very, very low point. Now, speaking of fodder, it's the exact opposite. We're at a very high point for a lot of the middle tier fodder market. 83 is 1.5K. 82s, by the way, they're slowly rising, right? More people will be getting rewards today from rivals going and doing those 83 plus SBCs, trying to get a few of those done. So if you bought 82s, I would be listing them for lazy buyers at 1K. You will get sales. I've seen a lot of people selling their 82s at 1,000 coins. You will get sales there. So list those up there. Their prices might even rise to that today, honestly, um, as 83s are probably going to go up a bit more. And so will maybe 84s. And there'll be one last push for like the 85s, the 86s, and the 87s all around like 22K, 20, 22K for the 87s, but like 20K for the 85s and 86s. I would say it's a, not a bad time if you have any last minute fodder to maybe start to sell a, a little bit of that. Because even though we have that hero player pick refreshing tomorrow, there's just going to be a lot of supply and a lot of people are going to open packs. So I'm just a little bit worried about that. So I, I think to be the, to be safe, if you have any fodder left, the safe route would be sell that hopefully today. Um, even 82s, right? List your 82s up for a thousand coins, maybe 1,200 coins. If you bought some of those, if you have 83s, I mean, I know people that are getting sales on 83s, 1.8 to 2k during the peak of the day. So I would try to sell during the peak of the day today when people are on doing the SBCs. That will be a great time to get that stuff out. And then this weekend for fodder is going to be very interesting. We're going to be watching it closely, uh, but I do think there's going to be a lot of supply as well. So we have to be very careful watching that now. I'm making this video too long. I want to hurry it up. Thursday content today. Player of the month Mbappe, question mark. There's no leak yet, but watch out for a player of the month League One SBC that will be dropped today. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be dropped today. The voting is up. If you go on the website, it is up. It has not been posted yet who is going to be the winner, but there will be a lot of uh, leaks. There'll be posts on Twitter as soon as that is out. So watch out for that. And then, of course, we have got a brand new icon that is dropping today, and that icon is leaked. It is Wayne Rooney. So we started off with the biggest W with Kaka. Petr Cech yesterday was a bit of an L. Wayne Rooney, not an insane SBC, but it's a cool one, right? His price in the market's like 
450 to 500 K. Hopefully the SBC is around four to 450,000 coins as well. That will be a card that a lot of people would have fun with to be able to go out and craft. That's a W SBC in my opinion. And then of course, just like we have every single day on Thursdays, we have got most likely the marquee matchups with a couple more packs. Heads up, the uh, Winter League SBCs, which I have to do this a couple more times. I'm probably gonna end up running out of time to be completely honest, but the League SBCs will be expiring today. Hopefully they get refreshed soon, but I don't know if it's going to be instantly uh, when they do that. So last thing I want to talk about in this video, we're going back to Twitter for this really quick is EA. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys maybe saw this yesterday. There was an issue with the Centurions cards. Centurions, Latan and Verati and Royce all took major hits in price as people were panic selling them yesterday because their stats in game were completely different. Now, let me tell you, if you did not know this, this the market like crashed with these prices that happened yesterday. Like Ebra was 2.3 mil because his stats in game were showing incorrectly. It is fixed. That was a visual glitch only. And EA have fixed it. So if any of you were still thinking that there was still an issue with those, that is not the case. They are fixed. And the stats that they had on their card originally all week are back to normal and they are back correct. So check your Centurions cards if you have them. But that was kind of a weird situation where, yeah, that sucks if uh, if you had a Zlatan or a Royce or a Fred uh, because you lost a lot of coins yesterday and really you, you kind of have EA to blame for dropping uh, like a disaster class of literally just reducing the stats on the card like in-game. They did a live tuning update on the game yesterday. That must be what have caused it. But kind of a crazy situation with that going on there. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. It's a very hype Thursday. One more day till Team of the Year. If you're excited for Team of the Year, which I know you are, hit the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And, of course, subscribe if you are new around here. I'll catch you guys in the stream today. Watch out for a double upload. It's been Nathan Fun Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.